If you are lucky enough to have one of these machines at home, but you're scared of using it, I want to show you how to make homemade bread machine dough. Easiest, easiest ever recipe, like yummiest. Your family will never want to eat any other kind of bread. It is so stinking good. I'm going to show you how to make it. All you need is some flour, some brown sugar, some oil, honey, salt, warm water, and some yeast. So we're going to start it out. I am using a bread machine. I've got a recipe in there. For, if you don't have a bread machine in the post, if you want the recipe, um, here you check out the post for those recipes. Click the link in the video. Okay. This is what your bread machine looks like. For those of you who are scared, how many of y'all give me a harder like if you have a bread machine? Give me a heart if you have one. Give me a like if you don't. Give me a smiley face. Uh, no, let's see what other options there are. What other emojis are there if you're afraid to use it? Okay. The first thing you need to know is there's this little button and you need to lock it in. Y'all see that? You need to lock that in to place in your bread machine. Okay. So right there, you see it locking in. Okay. Now I'm going to take it. This is a super old bread machine. Y'all this is like 20 years old, but I'm going to show you how to lock exactly everything in here. I'm going to hope my camera is going to hold right there. Oh, that's not going to show that well. Hang on. Scooch on over here. Good morning, Vicki. Tell me hello. Tell me what y'all are making for dinner tonight. Let me get my camera set up here. It is real grouchy with me right now. I'm almost, I'm on the verge of needing a new selfie stick, you guys, but I just try not to. Okay. When you put this sucker in, there's a little thing right here that says remove or lock. So I put it in and you just kind of go till you lock it in place. And you can see I'm doing a terrible job of it this morning. I should have done it before. I thought, oh, I'll do this and I'll show them. There we go. Now it's locked in place. So you can see how I can't move it. It's totally locked. Okay. So I've got my bread. Y'all, if you don't have a bread machine, this makes the best bread ever. All I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a cup of warm water. So this is about 110 degrees. I'll be honest. I get mine out of my spigot. I don't worry too much about it. I, get, I make it pretty hot and then I, I've never had any issues with it. So I've done that for 20 years. I just get my water decently hot. You probably could warm it in the microwave and check with the thermometer. I'm too lazy for that. Then you're going to add in a tablespoon of milk. Oh, a little bit extra is not going to hurt anything. This is the most forgiving recipe you will ever use. Two tablespoons of honey. Like I've made this a million times and you just can't mess it up. As you can tell, I am obviously nervous this morning as I'm spilling stuff, but it's good to go. Two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm literally, y'all can see, it's almost like a crock pot. I'm just dumping it in my pot, except that it's a bread machine. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Then I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons honey. I like to add the honey after I've added the oil because it makes the honey come out of the spoon a little bit easier. So I'm just going to add that in right there. Honey, it gets so sticky. But again, this recipe is so, so, so forgiving. Um, yeah, it's just real easy to make. Then we're going to add in three cups of all-purpose flour. Tell me what y'all are eating for dinner tonight. Also, hit that... S-P-R-I-N-K-L-E button to share with a friend, um, maybe who also wants to make this. I am almost out of flour, which makes me a little nervous. This is probably gonna be my last loaf of bread for a while. Um, okay, we're gonna add all that in, and then I've got some yeast. Now, I am using, I am totally using fasterized yeast, but you can use regular yeast. The only, usually I would actually use, let me show you which kind I would normally use. Normally I would use this yeast right here. Um, but I happen to have some of this. I want to use it up because it's getting, it's almost about to expire. So either one is fine. Either option totally works. So I'm just going to put that in there. Now I'm going to scooch y'all over here so I can plug my thing in and show you what I'm going to do different. I, this is a really, really, it really, y'all see how old this um, bread machine is. If I baked my bread in this, it would come out looking like a big fat lump of clay. It is not, it does not, this was like an early, you know, 1990 probably era bread machine. Hang on. So what I'm going to do right here, 
instead of doing it where I make my bread, I'll scooch it over to my plug so you can see it. If I can get an outlet to reach, it's gonna have a hard time reaching. Let me come over here just a little bit more. Sorry guys. I need more space and this does not have a very long cord at all, so that makes it really hard. But I want you to see me actually turn it on. Okay, y'all, come on over and check out my bread machine. Can you guys see that now? Okay, there's the bread machine. So what I'm gonna do is there's all of these options here. You can see, I'm gonna scoot this up, maybe that'll help. Okay, there's basic, rapid, whole wheat, and dough. I'm gonna just switch it to dough. And the reason I'm switching it to dough is because I don't wanna bake it in this. What I wanna bake it in is a traditional loaf pan. So I'm gonna let it make the dough in here. We should hear it start in just a second. Um, I'm gonna let it make the dough in here and then I'll move it once it's finished making the dough in here, I'll let it rise in a regular loaf pan and then um, I'll bake it for 30 minutes. Easiest, fastest recipe ever. Y'all will, I mean, your family will be in heaven. I'll answer any quick questions y'all have about this. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me this morning. I'm glad I'm not the only one making something yummy this morning. I am so glad y'all are here. You don't have a bread machine, but it looks yummy. It is really, really yummy. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. I'm hoping, I just make it in a regular loaf pan is what I make it in. You, your bread machine was a wedding gift in 2001 and still looking strong. Mine is from 1997, so I have you beat by just a couple of years. You have the same bread machine. Your grandmother bought it for you when you got married. I love that my mom got me mine. Um, good morning, you need a bread machine, Sarah. They're pretty fantastic. I don't make a whole lot of bread, but when I do, it just makes it super heavy. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing. I appreciate you. You just made breakfast chocolate chip pancakes. I love that. You just made homemade cinnamon rolls. The other thing you can do with this is you can take this bread once it's done, take the dough, you roll it out, you add a little cinnamon, a little butter, you roll it up, you bake it in a loaf pan, you just made some cinnamon bread. It's so good. Could you make it into, so you could you could make it into dough. Yes, Angie, you can make it into dough and then you could use it to make rolls. I've done it where I've added Parmesan to it, made some Italian bread, so many different things. Why don't you just bake in the bread machine? Samantha, I don't bake in my bread machine because it is a really pitiful bread machine. So it's from 1997 and when it makes it, it makes like a big lump of clay dough. It just doesn't taste as good. It would probably taste as good. It doesn't look as pretty. And I like a pretty loaf of dough that just looks pretty. So I choose to make mine. You could totally make it all in there and that would work as well. You don't have to hit start. I think I did, did I hit? I should have hit start. Thank you very much, whoever just said that. It's been a long morning. I've been up since about 4.30 this morning. So um, you got one 20 years ago as a bread machine, as a gift. I love that you love the fret bread smell of fresh bread, me too. Click the link in the video if you're interested in making the recipe. I'm so thankful for y'all. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll let you guys see it for those of you who've never seen a bread machine work in. Can you hear it? Thank you for telling me to push start, whoever said that. Like I said, I would have figured it out as soon as I finished up. There we go. So it'll sit here and make it for about an hour and 20 minutes. Then I will um, put it into a loaf pan, let it rise for 30 minutes, be good to go. Y'all have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. We'll talk to you later, bye guys. Oh, and yes, you could use it as pizza dough as well. So yummy. Y'all have an awesome day. Do your best to have a great day. Make today a beautiful day in your home. Pray a beautiful day for you today, bye guys. Oh my word, y'all. You just have to make this. Like you absolutely must, must make this. This is the homemade bread loaf that I made earlier today using my bread machine and then I put it into a regular loaf pan and baked it right here in this thing and y'all just pray you should just wish we had smell vision because right now right here can y'all see that I want you to see the cute sign too but there we go I mean it's probably a little on the slightly underdone side because I like my bread underdone and you can see I literally I had a little bit of extra dough and I plopped it on there so y'all see that mess it doesn't even matter. Watch this. Right here. I'm actually going to take this piece. It is a little bit underdone. I probably need to maybe bake it another second. I'm just going to show you all this right here. Because this is my piece. And it is like straight from Jesus. I mean, you guys. It's my smart balance because, you know, you have to have the healthy butter to go with the big old loaf of bread. Hang on. Ah, drop it. Making a mess here. So heavenly, look at that butter. Just oh, perfection, perfection. You guys, click the link in the video. 
to make this one, I really probably, I probably could let it bake just a little bit longer, but I wanted to show it to you. Look at this beautifulness. The most, hey, oh, can you see it? You can barely see the loaf. Caroline. Mm, mm, so good. Caroline just said she didn't need any more bread in her life. There you go. Mm, so good. Y'all make this one. Can you see that? I don't think you can see the seam. There it is, y'all. Don't you wish you were here? You can use bread flour, absolutely. Oh my goodness, perfection. And y'all saw, if you watched me, you know I was a mess when I was making it. It doesn't even matter. Like you just dump everything in. It's like better than a crock pot. So, so, so good. So good. There you go. So if you're interested in making some homemade bread, click the link in the video for the recipe. I'll hop off. Y'all have an awesome day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys.